Zamanda yolculuk ile ilgili paradokslar. Paradoksun en meşhur örneklerinden birini verelim. Bir bilim adamının karşısına kendi gelecekteki hali çıkar. Ona gelecekte zaman makinesini bulduğunu söyler, nasıl yapılacağını anlatır, şemaları bırakır ve gider. Bunun üzerine bilim adamı makineyi yapmaya başlar. Bittiğinde geçmişe gidip kendi geçmişteki haline zaman makinesinin şemasını teslim eder. Döngü bu şekilde sürüp gider. Fakat soru şudur. Şemalar ilk nereden gelmiştir? İkinci olarak zamanda yolculuk dendiğinde akla gelen ilk paradoks ise büyük baba paradoksudur. Eğer geçmişe gidip kendi dedemi öldürürsem benim de var olmamam gerekir. Fakat ben hiç doğmazsam asla zaman makinesine binip dedemi öldüremem. Bu durumda dedem ölmeyeceği için benim de doğmuş olmam gerek. Şu durumda dedem de ben de hem ölü hem de diri oluyoruz. Üçüncü olarak ise trafik ışıklarından geçerken dalgınlıkla yola atladınız. Tam bu sırada birisi sizi paltonuzdan tutup kaldırma geri çekti ve bu sayede ölümden döndünüz. Sizi kurtaran kişiyi göremediniz. Seneler sonra evinizin bottumundaki gizli bir geçitte geçmişe açılan bir kapı buldunuz ve tam da olayın geçtiği zamana geri döndünüz. Kendinizi gördüğünüzde aslında arkanızda sizi kurtaracak şimdiki kendinizden başka kimsenin olmadığını fark ettiniz ve müdahale etmezseniz öleceğinizi gördünüz. Geçmişe kendinizi paltosundan çekerek arabanın altında ölmekten kurtardınız ve geçmişteki gizli kahraman aslında siz oldunuz. En kafa karıştırıcı paradoks ise kader paradoksudur. Time travel stories and see whether you can figure this out. Let's see whether you're smart enough to figure this one out. The year is 1945. A stranger comes in from the darkness carrying a baby girl that he leaves at an orphanage. Well, the nuns find this baby girl. They don't know where the baby girl came from. So the nuns call her Jane. And Jane grows up as an orphan, wondering, who is my mother? Who is my father? Well, when Jane is 17 years old, She's a beautiful young woman, and then she has her first boyfriend. A drifter comes drifting into her life, but it was not meant to be. They quarrel. She argues with her boyfriend, and it's a very sad story. First, she finds out that she's pregnant. Her boyfriend has left her. She's abandoned and pregnant. She's rushed to the hospital nine months later. She delivers a beautiful baby girl, but somebody that night breaks open the window of the hospital kidnaps Jane's baby girl and leaves in the darkness. Well, it's even worse than this. Jane is bleeding very rapidly. She's going to die. The doctors have to perform an emergency experimental operation. They have to change Jane into Jim. Well, Jim wakes up the next day with this huge headache, and he's told the bad news. First, the boyfriend left her pregnant. Somebody stole her baby, and now she's not even Jane anymore. She's Jim. Well, Jim grows up and becomes a ballroom drunk. Every time someone says, who are you, Jim? Where did you come from? Who was your mother or your father? Well, finally, Jim one day is once again stone drunk at the bottom of a bar after a bar fight. But the bartender comes up to him and says, Jim, Jim, wake up. You see, I'm not really a bartender. I'm a time traveler. Come into my machine. And let us find out who is this Jim slash Jane. So they go back, back, way back into the past. So poor Jim, he doesn't quite know where he is in the past. But suddenly, he meets this beautiful 17-year-old girl. And it's love at first sight. But you know, it was not meant to be. They quarrel. And then Jim finds out that his girlfriend is pregnant. And then Jim says to himself, oh my God, history is repeating itself. This happened to me. Well, I'm going to make sure that my baby gets the best education possible. That night, nine months later, Jim goes to the hospital, breaks open the window, kidnaps his own precious baby girl. And then Jim and his baby girl go back into the time machine. Again, back, way back into the past, until it is 1945. It is a dark and stormy night. Jim comes in from the darkness carrying his precious baby girl that he drops off at an orphanage. Well, the nuns don't know what to do with this baby girl they find the next day, so the nuns call her Jane. And Jane grows up wondering, who is my mother? 
who is my father? I was left as a foundling on the doorstep of this orphanage. Well, Jim finally gets it together. Jim says, I won't be a drunk all my life. I'm going to join the time traveler's corps. So Jim has many heroic exploits in the annals of time. Now Jim is an old man. He says to himself, I've had a good life, but I want one final mission. For my last mission in time, I'm going to go backwards in time, put on a wig, to impersonate a bartender, to meet a certain barroom drunk who just got into a fist fight because someone said, who are you, Jim? Who is your mother, your father? Now, for 10 points, who can tell me? Who is Jim's mother, father, son, daughter, granddaughter, grandfather, great, great, grandfather, in the back? Yeah, Jane is a family tree unto herself. Can you imagine a family get together and they get into a food fight and someone says, you did this to me. No, you did that to yourself. Okay? 